Stan Gibalisco here with a little discussion of what appears to be a mistake in my book Pre-Calculus Know-It-All in chapter 19 where I discuss an infinitely long sum of zeros and make the claim that that sum is undefined. A reader has pointed out that no, it is not undefined. It is zero. And the reason, he says, is that the limit as n approaches infinity of the sum of the partial sums of this series, 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0, as the number of uh, zeros approaches infinity, or it continues f forever and ever, or you know, w without bound, the limit is zero, which is true. Every time you, the partial sums is zero, so the limit is in fact zero, and he then goes on to say that that means that this sum equals not undefined, but in fact equals zero. And he provides a very interesting link uh, to a discussion about that, and I'll try to get that link for you and paste it in the discussion uh, in the uh, explanation of this video below the video. So, uh, I don't know, what do you think? I, uh, I believe that he is correct and my book is wrong. However, uh, you may have an argument that says that uh, it really is undefined because when you add something up infinitely many times, uh, it's the same thing as infinity times zero. But no, not really, because we haven't defined infinity. We've defined an infinite number of, or an unending string of. That's easy enough to define, but defining infinity itself is an entirely different ball game. So, your input is welcome. I'll just leave the uh, discussion section of this uh, of this video open too. Stan Jabalisco signing off. Until next time, so long.